Hey, if you're looking for great fonts and you're looking for free fonts, this is the video you want to watch. If you're a leprechaun like me and you're searching for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, I'm going to tell you where they're at. All the rainbows, all the pots of gold, and all the golden fonts. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to get into fonts, where you can find them, where you can find the best fonts, and we're going to go from there. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian graphics and marketing video. I'm just kidding. I'm not a leprechaun, even though I might look like one with my red beard, but I wanted to take some time today and tell you where you can find the best fonts. Fonts are a very important part of being a graphic designer, a web designer, a motion designer. The better fonts you have, the better your designs are going to look. And it's really the holy grail of graphic design. I see a lot of people that do graphic design that specialize in typography and their stuff just looks so much better than everybody else's. And I've wondered to myself, because I've never specialized myself in doing any typography creation, of how I can improve my fonts. And so I've scoured the internet looking at thousands of websites, thousands of resources, literally thousands, trying to find the best fonts. So we're gonna jump into that today. I'm gonna give you the list of the best fonts that you can find, because it's very important that you understand typography is always evolving, okay? Super important. But first, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I want you to comment. What website do you use for all of your fonts? Where do you go? What is your go-to website for fonts? All right, so the first website we're gonna talk about today is Google Fonts. Google Fonts has actually been around since 2010, longer than I even realized when I looked that up. But in about 2016, I had a web designer that was working for me, really cool guy, and we were looking for some new and innovative fonts that we could use on some new brands that we were building. You may have noticed, but instagraphics.com or instagraphics brand was actually built using Montserrat, which I found on Google fonts, thanks to that web designer. So Google fonts is a huge directory of tons of fonts. You can adjust the typography. You can adjust the thickness. You can look for serifs and sans serifs and handwritten and monotype. There's lots of different variations and a lot of selection that you can pick from. The good thing about Google fonts is it ties in with Google Chrome because it's a Google product. So a lot of the websites that people are browsing around on, if they're using Google Chrome, those fonts will sync very quickly. So Google fonts is a really great website. I use it a lot. We download a lot of fonts from there. Probably one of our most popular websites we download fonts from, but this is just a big one that you need to take into consideration because Google fonts is just an awesome, awesome font library. All right. And number two is da font. Yes. D a font. Com. This is the one I've been using the longest. I've been finding great fonts there, but you got to be careful. They probably have the largest library of fonts. I'm sure probably hundreds of thousands of fonts at this point, but you got to be careful because there's attribution that you have to give to the people that created the fonts. There are some fonts that are just demo fonts. There's donation where there's fonts that you got to be careful of. I've actually downloaded fonts from there and put them on my computer and then had a lot of issues with my design programs of being able to scroll through fonts. So you want to be selective about the fonts that you use. Not all of them are free for commercial use. Most of them are free for only personal use. So if you're going to download fonts from there, read the comments, be considerate of the font creator himself and make sure that this donation where that you actually donate to them. That's totally your prerogative, but there's other websites and other sources you can download from, but the font is great. There's dingbats and there's all kinds of really unique characters and things that you can get from those websites. I personally love Defont. I've been using it for years um, from traditional, medieval. You have categories that they've created that makes it really easy to shop for different fonts. Now, number three is Behance. They actually have a gallery of a bunch of designers that have uploaded fonts that they've created from there. It's actually free which is awesome. There's a bunch of free fonts that you can find. So check out Behance, check out the free fonts. Behance is actually part of Adobe. It's an Adobe product, I guess, if you will. A lot of people know Behance for a portfolio uh, website where you can put your work in there, showcase the projects that you've done and your work and you can get views. It almost has a social element to it because people can like your work and love your work and share your work. So it's a really great tool aside from just the font side, but there's also great features with all the font creators that are there as well. So you can download some free fonts there and a lot of them are available for commercial use. And as a graphic designer or a motion designer or web designer, you're gonna want that. Okay, now number four is Adobe Type Kit. The upside is it's got a lot of great fonts. The downside is you have to have a subscription. If you don't have Adobe Creative Cloud, you probably won't get Adobe access to Adobe Type Kit. This is a really great tool, really good feature for you to get. 
Um, I've noticed that I've found a lot of different, different boldness and thicknesses and weights of fonts. I can adjust by serifs and sans serifs and monotype fonts. So it just gives you a large variety and allows you to narrow down your fonts really, really well. And then my favorite part of all of it is the fact that you can just sync it right to your programs directly from Adobe Typekit. You can just go in there and sync that font directly into Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and bam, the font is live. And you'll be able to get all the different weights and all the different orientations and all the different classes of that font. You can sync them right to your computer, which is awesome. Number five, and this is a tricky one to say, but it's awards.com but it's actually three W's. So it's a w w w a r d s dot com. A lot of the fonts here are free, but only for or for personal use, not for commercial use. So if you're gonna download those fonts, they're gonna use it on a personal design project like your cover photo or something like that for yourself, then you don't have to give attribution, you don't have to pay anybody for it. But if you're gonna do on the commercial side, then you need to pay that artist or you need to give them that font designer or you need to pay them or give you attribute the work to them and give them a credit at the bottom of your website. Something to, to keep in mind, you don't wanna just steal somebody's typography work or their font designs. It's really important that you think about that. So number six is letterhead fonts. This is a really great tool. Not only can you find the best fonts that are out there like Boston truck style and stuff, but you can find a wide assortment of different styles, all hand-drawn, most of them are hand-drawn, and they're very custom and very unique. So you can really level up your design abilities. The problem is nowadays, it's very expensive. I'm talking very expensive. You can buy one font on there for a couple hundred bucks. I was lucky enough about five years ago to stumble onto like a Black Friday deal or some sort of sale they had, where I paid I think a couple hundred bucks and I got every font ever created on that website. I've used these fonts on vehicle graphics, I've used them on websites, I've used them on barbershop logos, I've used them for all kinds of different things over the years, and these are hands down the nicest fonts that I've ever, ever found. All right, so now number seven is abstract fonts. I like abstract fonts. I found some really great unique fonts. There's a lot of designers that put their fonts on there and that create fonts. You can find really neat and unique stuff, kind of the hidden gem. So if you're looking for something that's different, if you can't find it on Defont and you can't find one that's free, you'll definitely be able to find one on abstract fonts. Um, that's a really big one. And then, like I said, it's also free. You'll find a lot of free stuff for personal, not as much on the commercial side. Number eight is font space. Not to be confused with MySpace. It isn't a dinosaur, it's actually very relevant. It's got a lot of free, really good, high quality content that's almost, almost completely open to use. There are some stuff, some fonts that you can buy in there, which is great, uh, but a lot of the stuff is free. I've found some really good fonts that I've used on a regular basis for clients and for projects. So just keep in mind that some of the fonts are gonna be free. The majority of those there at FontSpace are free, but some of them are also paid. All right, so let's jump to number nine. Number nine is a cool one because if you're a font designer and you're a graphic designer that creates fonts, this is the website you're gonna wanna go check out, and it's Font Squirrel. Font Squirrel has a lot of custom, very unique fonts, and they're completely free and open. So if you just wanna create fonts, you wanna get practice, you wanna build a portfolio, and you want people to see your work, Font Squirrel is the way to go. I found some hidden gems there, and everything is really, truly free. There's a free web font generator. There's just a lot of great tools at Font Squirrel. Check that one out. Squirrel! I'm just kidding. But check that one out. I love Font Squirrel. It's definitely something you should check out. And then uh, number 10, let's jump in there. Are you ready? Number 10 is gonna be a great one. Number 10, not to be confused with Behance, but is B Fonts. B Fonts is another collaborative marketplace and, and place where designers can showcase their stuff. They actually have a designer's page, which I really like. You can see the different designers, the people that are creating fonts on there. This is a really great resource for you if you're looking for unique and creative fonts. Some of them are gonna be redundant. I noticed a lot of the fonts that are on there you can find on Defont and some of the other ones, but sometimes the licensing and the restrictions are not as tight on sites like B Font or, uh, or a font space. So you can find some of the stuff that is free to use that you don't have to attribute, and you can find a lot of great fonts that are commercial use and personal use. So check out those sites. Those are the 10 big ones. What I wanna know is what fonts are you using for your business? What fonts are you using in your designs? If you're a web designer, graphic designer, what is your number one must have font website? And if you, I missed one here and you think that I should have included it, I wanna know what that is too. So drop a comment below. Let me know what, what's your favorite font website if you use a different one from the 10 that I've mentioned here. But I wanted to give you that. I know there's a lot of people that are always searching for good fonts and you gotta be careful about what you buy your fonts from or where you get your fonts from. Because the last thing you wanna do is install a font that's got a virus or some sort of malicious code in there. And next thing you know, all your programs go haywire and you gotta uninstall everything and reinstall. I've actually had that happen to me. It caused a lot of issues on my computer. So be 
careful about where you install your fonts from. All these sites are personally sites that I love personally. These aren't like the greatest websites in the world according to some website. These are just my favorites. So this is just purely my opinion. But I wanted to give you the 10 that I would use that I would recommend for people that are looking for great fonts. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I love doing these videos with you. Thank you for coming back and watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. God bless and as always, keep looking up.